So whenever I need an alpha during a project, my tendency is to immediately look for them online, completely overlooking these awesome alphas that are already available in Nomad. So let's take a look at some of these alphas and learn how to use them effectively. Let's say I want to create a stone floor base for a statue. Select cell mask, enable front facing vertex only, then mask this top part and invert because I only want this unmasked part to be the floor. Now I'm going to select the clay brush, tap on this alpha and select this pattern 21. Then open this and then try planner. Set the scale to 2 and adjust the intensity and then tap on paint all plus try planner. Then you can add some smoothness from the operation tool and you have a nice brick or stone floor. Then clear the mask. You can create brick walls the same way with these patterns. Here I have a plane. I will select the mask tool and then from alpha I'm gonna select pattern 72. This honeycomb pattern. Then tap on this. Select alpha, tap on tile, set tiling y to repeat and tiling to 4. Disable symmetry and paint mask like this. Then tap on this mask setting and extract with thickness. And delete this plane since I do not need it any longer. And now you have a grill mesh. You can also use these patterns to create different types of grill meshes following the same steps. With the same setting, if you select pattern 60 and draw like this and blur it a few times, then in the operation menu, increase the inflate value. And then the smooth value, you can create this nice quilted jacket effect. Pretty cool. Now I'm going to show you something very interesting. Let's pretend that this is a grip of a handle. Now select the stamp brush, choose pattern 60. Set the tiling to 6 and scaling to 1. Set tiling X to none and Y to repeat. Choose this fall off and activate radial symmetry in the Y axis and set it to 12. Then draw very carefully. You should get a nice grip pattern very quickly and easily. It's a bit tricky to align these edges seamlessly though. Smooth this out a little bit. So I used other alphas the same way to create more patterns like this. Remember, this is a quick and easy way of getting a grip pattern like this. There are other ways to achieve this with 100% precision and no artifacts. I will cover that someday. Select the clay brush, enable randomize and change the alpha pattern to 49. Now brush over this to create some nice surface noise quickly. You can change patterns for different effects, very useful.
There are obviously a lot of other things that can be done with these built-in alpha patterns. If you want me to make a part 2, let me know in the comment and subscribe if you found it useful. I will see you in the next video.